Las Vegas is the site of today's massive women's rally, dubbed Power to the Polls. Organizers say they want to turn the energy and activism from the women's marches into action at the voting booth. This weekend, women rallied across the country and around the world. Many voiced their anger at President Trump and called out sexual misconduct, taking the online Me Too movement to the streets. The goal of today's event in Las Vegas is to flip swing states and register new voters. NPR's Layla Fadel is in Las Vegas and joins me now via Skype. Um, first of all, Layla, why Las Vegas is the place to kick off this, uh, this particular campaign? Well, organizers say that this is an example of a battleground state that has had successful grassroots organizing. It went to Hillary Clinton in 2016. It um, elected its first female Latina senator. There are a lot of races involving women, including the governorship here. So they said they wanted to highlight this place on a national stage as an example of that. Last year, it was specifically to protest President Donald Trump. This year, is there... Are there different reasons? Well, it still is a protest against this administration for sure. And a lot of conservative women say they don't really feel welcome at these marches. But it's also not just about protest. It's about telling people to get to the polls and to turn it into political power, to take the momentum and the energy of the marches we saw yesterday across the country and last year and make that into something at the polls. There's, there's a record number of women running for office this year. Groups like Emily's List, which trains in... Um, progressive women to run for office say that more than 26,000 have signed up across the country. So there's been a lot made over the past year on exactly who comprises this, these women's marches and this resistance. What have organizers done to deal with that? Well, you know, last year, one of the big criticisms that was that these marches comprised of mostly white liberal women. And so when I spoke to the organizers this year, they said that diversity doesn't come without intention. And so they said that over the last year, they've been reaching out to marginalized communities, to minorities, to the disenfranchised, to those who often don't feel they have a voice and try to make sure that they're represented. So today's rally, for example, was opened by a Native American speaker who spoke about the issues that plague Native American women, including the number of women being murdered among Native American women, one of the highest rates in the country. And so that that is the intention. It is a pretty diverse crowd here today, um, mostly local, and the marches in general have been more localized this year. All right. NPR's Layla Fadel joining us via Skype from Las Vegas tonight. Thanks so much. Thank you.